In this video, we're going to explore whether or not it's possible to reduce the risk of the development of diabetes through probiotics. How's it going guys? This is Chris back with another episode of TGIF, Talking Gut Immuno Fridays, where we talk about gut health, sinus health, and general immune function, and improving those things through lifestyle choices. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video again. Recently, I came across some interesting studies performed on mice that found in non-obese diabetic mice that the introduction of probiotics significantly reduced the risk or prevented altogether the development of autoimmune diabetes. So what does this mean? Well, first we should note that several other studies have looked at introducing probiotics, has reduced inflammatory markers in diabetes, decreased intestinal permeability, which also helps to fend off some of the subsequent effects of diabetes. Is it a far reach to assume that diabetes may be prevented in humans as well? It is known in science that we use mice because of the significant genetic similarities between humans and mice. So early administration of probiotics in mice found that they were able to stop the cascading effects into the development of full-blown autoimmune diabetes. These are early studies in the field, and of course we would need more studies in humans to determine whether or not we can produce the same effects. That being said, it's one of those cases where do we really want to wait for the science to confirm this? There are very few negative effects in taking probiotics. As you know, I'm not giving medical advice if you've seen my other videos, but for most people, taking probiotics is a helpful thing at fending off several different types of diseases. So if there's even a possibility that it could prevent diabetes or prevent the worsening of your diabetes if you already have it, why not introduce probiotics into your diet if you're not already? As you've seen in some of my other videos, things like yogurt might not be enough. Check out my recent video on the deception of several of these food companies and how effective their probiotics are in yogurt. Instead, opt for things like homemade sauerkraut, kimchi juice, kimchi in general, homemade kefir. Those are just but a few options of probiotic rich foods. Also, commercial probiotics can be helpful as well. So the jury is still out on whether or not diabetes can be prevented in humans through probiotics or if it can help. But considering the similarities between us and mice, it's not a bad bet that that could be the case. What have you done in your own life to help the management of diabetes or prevent diabetes? What has helped you? Have you changed your diet? Have you lost weight? Have you used probiotics in your own life to help with certain diseases or disorders? I'd love to hear in the comment section below what's worked for you. This has been another episode of TGIF, Talking Gut Immuno Fridays. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video again. I look forward to seeing you next Friday. Yeah.